It's a great day to be in the Bomber Nation. This is Principal Jacob Jenkins. I'm here with Dean of Students, Paul Rudolph, and you are listening to the Bomber Buzz. Welcome back. Paul, we have uh, got a short week here coming up. Uh, this week's a short week and next week, uh, but... You know, now that softball, track, baseball, everything's all running, it sure seems like we're packing in a lot of things into the time that we have. We are packing some things in. And just a quick reminder on Good Friday, obviously the Easter egg hunt is here in the old gym from 9 to noon. Um, So don't forget about, you know, tomorrow's Easter egg hunt. Um, And then following right after Easter break, we've got our music music students are on a little tour of um, doing a little tour, mainly Apple St. Paul music tour. Um, and then we roll into the 4th of April is our home, or excuse me, our opening day for baseball. We're at Corbett Field, uh, at four o'clock. We play Bishop Ryan at Corbett Field at four o'clock on April 4th. On April 4th as well, the elementary boys basketball team, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade is up in Botno. They play in Botno at 4.30 PM. And then April 5th, our elementary boys basketball team goes to partial. They play partial at 4.30 p.m. And April 6th is regional speech at South Prairie High School. Um, track is kind of off next week. They're kind of transitioning from indoor to outdoor. The outdoor season gets rolling the following week. Um, the DLB, L, the DLB uh, Berthold softball girls are opening next week. Now, that game could be in the bubble. It could be outside. Um, and we're still waiting for confirmation on exactly. It's scheduled right now for April 2nd, but we will see if that's going to be outside or if that's going to be in the bubble. Uh, April is very exciting for spring sports. It seems like you never know uh, what's going to happen. And given like this little snowstorm here, they seem to pop up and kind of put a, a wrench in some plans. They most certainly do. <laughs> Well, it's uh, like I said, uh, for for four days of school, there's there's a lot happening on. Uh, very exciting to see baseball kick off and uh, the boys basketball. Very busy for those. Oh, those guys are those they, guys. once or twice a week, twice yeah. a week, pretty much. Yeah, the whole yeah. year or the whole month now. All right. Well, Paul, is there anything else going on you want to mention? That is pretty much next week in a nutshell. All right. Well, on the buzz today, we have uh, uh, two special guests. Uh, we have Ava. She is our senior foreign exchange student from France, and she's going to talk a little bit about what it's like uh, being a student here in the States and her experiences and a little bit about France, which is it's a, it's a really great interview, so stick around for that. And then uh, Mr. John Karanka, our seventh grade middle school teacher and baseball coach, is going to talk a little bit about his year and uh, the upcoming baseball season. So a lot of exciting things to hear about here on the Bomber Buzz. All right, we're back on the Bomber Buzz, and we are here with Ava Bourgeois. And uh, she is a foreign exchange student, uh, come here uh, from France. Welcome to the Bomber Buzz, Ava. (laughs) Ava, we are so happy to have you today. And thanks for agreeing to come on, spur of the moment. This was a last minute thing. (laughs) Yeah, and and just, just kind of visiting with us. And one, tell us a little bit about just how you went about being a exchange student? So I had to go through an agency that helped me to do the papers and everything. I had to um, like do papers with my high school in France and with medical. It's a long process. Long process? Yeah, it really took me months. But you have, when you do that, you have no idea of where you could be placed. No. Like you had no idea you, you're going to end up in Berthold, North Dakota. Yeah, I mean, I could have... Like chosen some states that I would prefer, but I didn't. And anyway, it's not even if you sh- choose that, you're not even sure that you're gonna yeah, get there. Not guaranteed that anyway. Yeah. Well, how has your experience been? It's been good. Good. <laughs> yeah, very uh, happy to be here. Happy to be here. <laughs> yeah. We're happy to have. We you. are. We're. Ex- <laughs> it's been a great having you around. I can tell you that. Um, but I do want the people, you know, our our constituents, to get a little idea because you told me the high school you came from. 3,000 students. So the first day you walked into Berthold High School, what were your thoughts? Well, I was 
still impressed because it's very different from my high school. Like there is only one building here and there was like 10 buildings there. <laughs> <laughs> so you went from one building to 10 or 10 to one, yeah. excuse me. Any other, what was it? I mean, really, what, I mean, obviously you were nervous, excited, yeah. all those types of things, but anything else when you just walked into the school? Well, I thought it was, it was a pretty school and everybody seemed like, excited <laughs> to see me and even if I was a little bit lost and everything. Yeah, yeah and we were. We were excited, and you've been a great addition. We've, we've enjoyed every day of it. Yeah. Okay, so tell us a little bit then when you're um, first couple days of class. First couple days of class going from 3,000 students to, you know, 100 mm. students. Mm. What, what did you feel like? Any differences in the classes? <laughs> yeah, you see all the same people and so, like, little classes. I remember being seven in math. Where I was 35 last year. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> so yeah. the class size Quite was obviously yeah. noticeable. Have you, can you give us a comparison of like what have you seen different than with larger class size to smaller class size? Have you noticed a difference in your yeah. schooling from that standpoint? I think here it's like more uh, intimate. I want to say that like mm -hmm. people like, you know, more stuff and teachers spend more time with, with one Intimate. Students. I like that word. So you found it a little bit more intimate. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you a little bit more because then you, you got here and you you wanted to experience as many different things as you could, you told me, mm -hmm. and you jumped into volleyball. Yeah. First time you'd ever done volleyball. Yes. What, what were your experiences there? <laughs> well, it was interesting and I've never even seen volleyball before. So it was at the beginning, it was very confusing. I didn't understand like why they were turning around or. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was it was very fun and I really enjoyed it. And Did enjoy it? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, something that a lot of people might not know is when you're a foreign exchange student, part of what you agree to do is, like, be involved in all mm -hmm. sorts of stuff, right? Yeah. So, so part of to be a foreign exchange, it's not just going to class. You're supposed to be in extracurriculars mm -hmm. and and like really dive into the whole experience yeah so that takes some guts yes it does <laughs> and then you told me you had never seen an american football game what were your thoughts of that <laughs> it was quite amazing quite amazing <laughs> yeah i'd never seen that i've seen like in like movies or something <laughs> like that so being like in front of it was kind of cool yeah <laughs> yeah well good have you enjoyed most of your experiences yeah good yeah um anything you want to elaborate for us Favorite class? What's been your favorite class so far? I don't know. <laughs> I really like them all. I know I really liked senior math during the first semester with like all the girls and everything. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. Good. But I also like like English or yeah. economics. Very yeah. Fun. So you've enjoyed them all. Yeah. Good. Um, any negative experiences? Mm. Well, I broke my bracelet one of the first days of school. I broke your bracelet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, actually, some people helped me to pick up the little, like it was like a with balls bracelet. So okay. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Well, then how about I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to a couple more, but I I gotta. Um, how has softball been? It's been it's been great. I really like it. I, I didn't know I was gonna like it that much. Have you? Now were you? Had you watched softball before? No. So this is your first <laughs> jumping into softball too. Yeah. Just to exu here we go. Yeah. Well, I'm quite lost. Quite lost still. <laughs> <laughs> I try to like listen to everything I can to look to everybody, but it's very hard. Yeah. Well, yeah, it is. If you've never experienced it and you're trying to jump in without question. But what yeah. a what a great experience! I mean, like all these new things. Like, if you wouldn't have come and done this. Um, foreign exchange do you think you would have ever tried volleyball or ever thought about trying like a softball or anything like that no i would not i would have never tried that no <laughs> so that's cool that it yeah. kind of stretches and expands your world a little bit yeah. oh without a doubt without a doubt so with that being said has the has the whole exchange program been beneficial to you oh yeah for sure what what do you feel like most oh i think i don't really realize but maybe being more independent, like learning how to live without my parents or my brother. And oh, yeah, you've well, done that. Really, yeah. You really have to be independent, yeah. right? Like, they're pretty far away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, one more thing, because you did do dance this winter. Yeah. That was something you were experienced in, yeah. something you really... I was kind of cheerleading as well, right? 
Kind it was of, cheerleading. Yeah. So tell yeah. us about that. Well, it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed that. Yeah. It was. I think it's also one of my favorite experience here. That was one of your favorites. Yeah. Okay. The girls were really nice, and I had to compete to like two competitions. Oh, cool. And it was yeah, it was very. Kind of a dream. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Was it more organized? Would you say it's more organized in the United States as opposed to what you were doing in France? Oh, it's way bigger here. Way bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's, yeah, it was amazing to see how serious it was, like the sport was here. Mm-hmm. Like in France, you say that, nobody knows it. And you're like, oh, you're like, oh, just dancing. And I was like, no, not really. Yeah, <laughs> right. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna backtrack because I, I should have asked this question right away. But tell us about your family in France. I have my two parents are married, and I have one older brother. Older brother? Yeah. Okay. Still lives with my parents. Okay, so two kids. What do your parents do in France? Um, my mom she works in like an, a water service. I don't know what to say. A water service? Yeah, something okay. like that. And my daddy, I don't know the word for that, but he sells house and like he owns business. Oh, gotcha. Oh, cool. Okay, so yeah. gotcha. And my brother works with my dad. Works with your dad? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Gotcha. So when's the last time you saw him? August 22nd. August 22nd. Holy cow. That's quite a deal. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite a deal. Do you guys video chat a lot? Yeah, I try to call them every day. I mean, it's only like a five minutes Usually when I'm doing my hair, I call sure. them. <laughs> What's the time difference between here and France? Well, right now it's six hours because we... Because uh, uh, of the cha- daylight change. Daylight savings. Time change. Yeah, yeah, but they are going to change this weekend, I think. So we are going back to seven hours. Okay. Okay. So France changes this week? Yeah. Gotcha. So that does get hard to coordinate that because yeah. your 8 a.m. is there, what, two in the afternoon? Or? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Interesting. What what motivated you to become an exchange student? Well, I was very interesting about learning know, new cultures and learning new sports and just seeing another like um, school and how mm-hmm. it works here. Yep, it's very different. I think it's so. Tell us then, then what are the what are some of the first things you're going to tell your friends back in France about the experience? I'm going to say it's cool here. It's way better than France. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you're going right away, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good to hear. <laughs> uh, so yeah. you have enjoyed it. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, well, what do you think? How, like classmates, okay? Your classmates mm-hmm. this whole year. What do you think 10 years from now, how do you want them to remember Ava? I hope they liked me and <laughs> without a doubt <laughs> and they enjoyed that I was here and I don't know have you yeah. shared any of your France experiences with them like just what things were like or in just general conversation yeah yeah sometimes so yeah exchanged a little bit of culture there from that standpoint mm. how about the teachers what do you think the teachers will remember about Ava <laughs> I don't know it's a hard question. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I know one thing that I'll remember is you are always smiling oh, and gosh. always positive. Yes. Like, from the first time you came in, I would have been scared off my butt. I would have just been so nervous going to a new country, right away into a new school, because you weren't even here very long before you started going to school, right? Like a day or two? Yeah, two days. <laughs> yeah. And you came in and you were smiling and you were like, let's face this. Let's We're, we're doing this thing. And that... That's something I'll remember that yeah. you've really impressed upon me, that positive energy. Yeah, I would, I would second that without question. How about, how about future plans? Let's go there. Oh, you got okay. any future plans? Well, I'm going to med school, I think. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Let's I'm go. For right now, yes. <laughs> okay, so when we graduate, how much longer will you be in the States? Uh... So we when we graduate on the nineteenth, I yes. think. Yeah. And I live I live on the twenty first. You leave on the twenty first. Oh, so pretty yeah. quick. So nineteenth, you're back in France on the No, I leave North Dakota on the twenty first and then I go on vacation with my parents and my brother. Oh, so they're okay. coming over here to see oh, you. Oh yeah, they're coming here. Oh awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, they're going okay, to see you. Okay, so then you're gonna to tour to the United States a little bit? Yeah. Okay, and then you'll head back to France? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well that'll That's be cool. a, that'll be great. Yeah. 
Is there somewhere in particular you're going to go tour or you're going to go? Yeah, we're going to uh, California and Las Vegas. And California, Las Vegas? Yeah. Good choices. Okay, so with that being said, now we're talking travel. While you've <laughs> been here, you've had a chance to experience a few places. Any place that like, ooh, I like that one. Well, I really like Medora. You I like mean, Medora? It was the first trip we been and it was so it was it was so like a movie you know like yeah. western movie it was so cool what? Okay. <laughs> that's one of our favorite vacation spots too oh that's yeah. awesome i like it so medora was one of your favorites yeah okay any place you went to what, while you've been touring you're like ah no big deal oh i went to fargo and minneapolis too fargo and minneapolis yeah nah, that's no big deal no, it was good. <laughs> and downtown Minneapolis was so cool because I've, like in France, we don't have this kind of architecture. Sure. So to see like, these big buildings and uh, oh, sure. it yeah, was, it trip. was amazing. Okay. How, how about now with the architecture, you, you sprung me, you had any favorite restaurants that you've really enjoyed? Um, I don't know. I really liked, we, we went to a diner at the beginning of the year and I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So how about experience in American food? You got anything that way that you like, oh, man, I could. I like cookies. You like cookies? <laughs> yeah. There are a lot of cookies here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> gotcha. Well, that's awesome. Mr. Jenkins, you got anything else for Ava? Is there anything like um, that you found really like shocking that maybe you didn't know to anticipate when you came here? I think... And like people are, you don't know pe- someone and you can just talk to him for like 20 minutes and it's all right, it's so normal and common. Yeah. <laughs> it's not something that we do in France. If Nothing you don't know you... someone, you just don't talk to him. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That like in a, a grocery difference. store or something like that, you, won't, you wouldn't talk to him. Or like for like two minutes maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you've learned that that Midwestern way of life from a conversation standpoint then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. You got anything else you want to share with us? Mm, I don't know. (laughs) Good to go? Yeah. Well, you've been a marvelous, marvelous. Thanks for uh, diving in today and chatting with us. It's been really great having you part of our school. Of course, we have you for another two months here until graduation. So if you haven't met Ava yet... Make sure you stop her in the grocery store and say <laughs> hi. She'll talk to you for about 20 minutes. Right? <laughs> we got more coming up next on the Bobber Buzz. We are here now with a very special guest to talk to us about teaching and baseball. Maybe some life lessons. Uh, please welcome on the Bomber Buzz. Here's Mr. John Karanka. Welcome to the Bomber Buzz, John. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, we are great, greatly excited, Mr. Karanka. We wanted to visit with you a little bit about just how your year's been academically, teaching, and then uh, get a little preview on the upcoming baseball season. So if you don't mind starting out, tell us a little bit about yourself and then a little bit about uh, the subjects you teach and, and um, how the years went. Right. So as I, as I mentioned earlier, I am Mr. Kronka. Um, I teach currently, I teach seventh grade, well, all their subjects, life science, geography, English, math, and I also teach some eighth grade North Dakota studies. Uh, this is my very first year teaching. Um, it's been quite a interesting year so far, to say the least. Uh, I'm an elementary major, so moving up the grade levels has been definitely a little different for me and kind of an adjustment, but I am having a lot of fun. I think the year is going really well. Um, as far as school wise, I can already have I already have about a hundred ideas that I'm going to change for next year and make it better, <laughs> make it more smooth and everything like that. But um, no, it's been super awesome, and I couldn't ask for a better staff and everything to help me out for first year as well. It's been awesome. Good. Do you have a favorite subject that you taught? Um, so surprisingly, people who know me really well probably would not think this, but I love teaching math. Okay. I love teaching math. I kind of found a, a groove, as you could say, yeah. into that subject. Like some of the other subjects have kind of been a little bumpy. Be like, okay, what can I do here? What can I do here? But teaching math, I don't know. As soon as I just get rolling with it, I just, I just love doing it. I just, right. It's and you know, kids usually aren't as excited about math sometimes, and I just try to bring that excitement a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Like, yes, like math, exciting. You know, <laughs> all right, <laughs> good for you, yeah. good for you. So overall, you've had a pretty good first year. Yep, it's going awesome. I think. I think so. I would agree. I think most of the kids would attest <laughs> to that as well. 
What? Um, well, we're going to switch subjects then. We're going to go right into baseball because you're our head baseball yeah. coach. And we kind of want to get a little idea of, you know, how things have went here in the first seven or eight practices. Right. Um, so I've just loved everything that I've saw so far from the boys, right? Um, I kind of bring, I bring a different energy in that I don't think they've had in the past just as far as um, up-tempo baseball practices go. But I'm super up-tempo when it comes to baseball everything, right? Like, mm-hmm. we're going to get here. We're going to get going. We're going to keep it moving. Um, and the boys, I think, have bought into that super, super well. Uh, our practices, right? They've kind of got the routine down, what they need to do right away. We get into it. We just work hard. We keep working hard, keep working hard the whole time, super up tempo. Um, and they've bought into it really well. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, one of the most fun years I've coached so mm. far, the start at least, coaching baseball. And I think they are having a lot of fun too, or it seems like it anyways. And, yeah. Um, I know they were super excited all year because they would always ask me, hey, let's have open gyms, let's have open gyms. Uh, I guess I can't have open gyms every single night, right? <laughs> but, um, no, it's going super great so far. Uh, the amount of just how much they've gotten better, even just looking at the last two weeks, mm-hmm. has been so crazy to me. And that excites me so much, too, because if we've already gotten this much better in two weeks, how much better are we going to be as we go into the season, yeah, you no know, doubt. How much they just get the stronger and stronger. Right. And, and exactly. as you're speaking of that, can you give us a little bit of, uh, you know, let's just start pitching, because mm-hmm. that's big baseball, right? How how are we doing? Right. Um, they're looking good so far. And you, coming from my background, like I'm a, I have a big pitching background. That is one of my favorite things okay. to do in baseball, right? And the big problem is like sometimes when you have teams of 18 guys or so, um, how do you get the correct amount? How can you? I guess, shape practices so you can get enough pitching practice in, right? Um, but what I try to do is I'm just trying to pull guys aside once in a while, talk about a few different things, and then when we get that chance to go, um, the guys are up there and they just kind of already know what they're working on, and all of a sudden we can get more working in that short sure. amount of time, right? So I've seen super good things from them. I've already made We've already made a couple adjustments with some guys, just some simple things, and they're like, the, what makes me really happy is when I, a kid, I, we make an adjustment, and that kid all of a sudden goes, oh my gosh, that felt way better that was way better right Mm -hmm. so i've just been seeing a lot of that stuff just small steps and those small steps really turn into those big steps right so looking really good so far um like i said as far as everything goes especially pitching the amount of just how much they've gotten better from the beginning is just Mm -hmm. incredible to me so we open up thursday next thursday at corbett field against bishop ryan who are some of the guys we'll see on the mound right um so we're led by a kind of an older staff this year. Uh, Sam Babinchek is going to be one of our main pitchers this year, one of our starters. Um, Bennett, Gunner, um, Bennett, Gunner, Drew will be a pitcher that we see a lot. A lot of those older guys, as you yeah. say, right? We're, we are a pretty young team. I think we got the four seniors going out, and then we have – a certain amount of sophomores, and that's mostly just ninth graders, eighth graders, seventh graders, sure. right? Um, so my – well, the way I look at it is I would need, I want everybody to try and pitch as much as possible, right? Because when you get down to the stretch in the season, really long season, right, we need as many pitchers as possible, right? So that first game, I plan to trot four or five different pitchers out there, right? Get them in the groove, get them in the groove. Mm-hmm. Some of those guys who are going to be in those key moments down the road, right? So some, a lot of those older guys are going to kind of lead us on the mound this year. I'm really looking at some of those younger guys to step up too, and they've already shown me really good things. Right. Um, so it's just going to be all throughout the year, as many pitchers as we can use, develop them, get ready, because you never know when we need to have a game where we need to throw seven or eight pitchers. You know what I'm saying? Right. It happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. It happens. For sure. Right. So just we're going to be led by those older guys. And I'm really hoping those older guys set a really good example for those younger guys. And we can just keep working and getting better. Yeah. Right. How about as we stay up the middle, who do you see as our catchers? Catchers? Got to, I, I was really happy that we got three Kids who really want to catch, and we got a couple more um, that also really like to catch. Uh, Dylan Pank, Gunnar Deaver are going to be kind of our two main rotation guys mm-hmm. there. They've, and I am so happy with those guys. All they want to do is always ask me, "What can we do to get better at this? What can we do to get better at this?" So we've been really working with them. Um, Dalen Yanish and a freshman, he's going to be catching a lot back there too. A little younger guy, and I'm ho- hoping that he looks up to some of those older guys too, and sh- seeing how hard they work, yeah. and he can just continue to get better too. And those three guys will be. Kind of our main catchers will rotate in throughout the year, but there's like I said, there's a couple different kids too who really want to work at it, and that's awesome because the more catchers you have, I tell you, it makes life so much easier for everything else. Right. Yep, no doubt, no without question. Got to be good up the middle. Right. Um, you know, obviously, I haven't had a chance to be outside yet, but um, things going okay in the gym. I mean, as far as right, yep, infield and, and outfield. Um, right, and that's kind of that thing. You do what you can. Right. You know, you do what you can. 
obviously there's no substitute for tracking fly balls in the outfield or doing whatever, making throws across the diamond, right? Um, but I was lucky enough to, in college for five years, playing in North Dakota, I had all these awesome little drills and stuff that we can do to just, get, you know, get better at these little things. And mm-hmm. I preach to the guys, right? First thing I ever said to them, little things add up to big things, right? So if we're getting better at all these little drills we're doing, even though they might not be catching real fly balls, and that's kind of hard to simulate, right? All these little drills that we're doing, these little details that we're paying attention to, those will add to those big things. They will make those big things a lot easier, right? right? Those little details are going to make those big things a lot easier to do. Um, So we've just been hammering some of those drills, some skill drills, just little things that are going to help, like maybe our outfield footwork, right? We can't simulate catching a giant fly ball, but we can help get there to catch right. that ball, right? Now get there to catch that ball. So just those little details have been the biggest thing so far. I've wanted our guys to focus on, and it'll just make our lives that much easier when we go outside. Yeah, and same thing as we stay inside. Just have you seen anything, you know, from the cages, the guys hitting? Right. Uh, that's one of the things that I've seen that I think are most improved, just the how hard we are hitting baseball so far and how much our swings are looking cool. that much better, right? The start of the year, right, there was a lot of mechanical adjustments that a lot of us had to make. Um, and what are we doing? Like I preach to them, like some of these drills that we do may seem a little funky, right? They may seem a little weird, but I'm only giving you these drills to work on something, right? A drill that we've been working on a lot is when you do front toss and we angle it because a lot, a lot, a lot of guys are doing is that they're pulling their bodies out of the batter's box when they swing, right? So what's going to happen? We're not looking at the ball. All we're doing is looking to pull that ball. What happens when that pitch is on the outside, Right, so we do some of those drills that really need us to keep our hands back, and we try to hit the ball up the middle of the cage to do stuff like that. Focus on that. If you're if you're pulling your body outside and you're doing this mechanical thing wrong, you're not going to be able to do this drill correctly. Mm. Right, just kind of hammering down little things like that. And I say eventually, and then when you get to your normal swing, don't even think about it because when we do those drills in the cage, that'll automatically translate to when you do your normal swings in a game. Right? Awesome. So just sure. the amount of success and i'm just so happy that the guys have bought into those little things right and it's just shown so much because really swings are looking so much better we're hitting the baseballs hard and they're having a really good time doing it too which is awesome right yeah well you know we always like you said we were inside and you can't simulate things in the outside but we we open up april 4th at corbett field against bishop ryan at four o'clock and then we have our home opener april 8th um hoping we get the field all ready and everything's ready to go get cooperation from the from the sunshine, but op- April eighth, right. we play exactly. South Prairie. Who is helping you out? We got to give, we got to let the let the public know a little bit about, you know, who's that? Who's that guy standing on first base? That guy standing on first base. Who got all of the height, and I did not get any of the height. <laughs> uh, that is my brother Matt. Uh, I was really lucky that he was able to come out and help me. Um, he's been coaching for a long time too. We've coached together before. Um, it's just really nice. He is very knowledgeable in the game of baseball. He's coached a lot. Um, he's been a big help because I can trust him really well to just here, do this with these kids and I'm going to do this with these kids and we can separate and I have no worries about it. Right. Yeah. So, yep. That is my older brother. A lot of the kids say, why didn't you get his jeans? And I'm like, I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know either. Eh? I, I, he got all the height. I didn't, but, uh, yeah, he's been awesome this year too. Um, gets along really well with the kids. He's a little more stern than I am, which is good. Cause we got that stern attitude and I'm a little sure. more, you know, loose fun attitude, which is awesome. But like I said, he's been awesome. I can just trust him to do whatever I need. Right. Well, good. Been, Anything yeah. else you want to tell us about baseball or um, just things in I just, general? I think this year is going to be a turnaround year. I really do. Kids are excited. Um, we're going to win some games. And we start off with a really tough task at Bishop Ryan. And I think the kids have bought into it really well. And then, you know, it's easy sometimes to look at some of those good teams and they're kind of like, ah, these guys are scary. I'm <laughs> like, you know, guys, all they are is high school kids just like you playing the same exact game on the same exact field. What's so different about it? Right? Yeah, exactly. That's right. Just keeping that attitude, having fun, and every single game, just take things you can get better and keep moving along. Awesome. Well, I sure appreciate it, Mr. Yeah, Jenkins. You got a, anything else? That's a great attitude. John, you've been playing ball for a long time, right? Yep. So um, real quick, tell us like about your journey in baseball. Like, When did you first be like, yeah, I kind of like this, and, oh. then, and then how did that grow? Yeah. Oh, man. And I, pro- t- I started playing t-ball all the way through. I wasn't – wasn't like a big football player growing up, right? But I just think it just comes from my family, my older brothers. Like my, like my older brothers love baseball, right? Sure. And my family loves baseball. And, you know, I played all throughout whatever, and I was always a pretty good – I was always a pretty decent pitcher, right? And, you know, I went through – I was really short until like <laughs> in probably halfway through high school. But I just loved going out there and playing baseball, right? Yeah. I'd go out – even when I'm not playing like organized baseball, go out and play, play wiffle ball or do all that stuff, right? And it wasn't until my senior year when someone mentioned it to me. And they're like, you should – have you ever thought about playing in college? I'm like, no, I really haven't. I guess I really haven't. And then that's when I kind of got a couple of recruiting calls and I kind of went out there and I was like, yeah, like 
this is fun. And I've kind of had that attitude. It's like, like, I could play baseball all day, every day. I love it. Yeah, it's just, yeah. it's fun to me. Right. So I, I tried it out. I went to Williston state right away to play for two years and I absolutely loved it. Made a lot of good friends. And then COVID year hit that second year. So I didn't get a full year. And I was kind of like, hey, I need to keep playing. Right. This yeah, is fun. Yeah. So I was able to, I was able to go play at Dickinson. had a great three years there. Um, just super glad I tried it. Right. Because I just, I love that competitiveness and I love the game basically. Right. Yeah. So that kind of led me here. I mean, I've been coaching baseball since I was a sophomore in high school, right? Just <laughs> it started with the little peewees, you know, yep. and stuff like that. So I think that has helped me too. Like, especially in coaching, I've coached so many different ages of kids and it's just like, where, okay. So, oh, we're here. Where do we need to start here? And where yeah. do I need to start here? Right. It was just, it's always been something I love to do. I could, I could sit there and I could sit at a baseball game and watch it for 10 hours of the day. I could sit there and play baseball all day. I just love it. You know? Yeah. It's good I just time. love it. Well, thank you, John. We appreciate your time. Uh, make sure that you're coming out supporting Bomber Nation baseball this year. Uh, keep your eye on the flight plan for all of our upcoming games. This has been the Bomber Buzz. If you've enjoyed what you listened to, make sure you hit like and subscribe so that you can get notified of all of our upcoming episodes. Until next time, we hope that you're all doing well. Fly high, Bombers. Bombers.